Welcome. Hello, families. Hello, students. Welcome to our 2018 Winter Showcase. Tonight we have a selection of artworks from some of our art club students who are up here on stage with me, as well as other artworks offered up by students here at Gilmet Middle School. We also have uh, a couple of updates just about arts, the art program, and some of the projects we will be and have worked on. So a couple of our students have put together, for anyone who's visited the main office lately, the students at the end of the year last year, we put it in the slideshow for this year because we didn't quite, they didn't quite finish in time for last year's spring showcase, but they were put together a mural for us in the main office, and we finished our ceiling mural that we got a sneak peek of last spring, so those are up and running. Some of our eighth grade students have had the opportunity to try out some new artistic modes of expressing themselves. So here we have a couple of animation projects that we're just gonna let run while we talk about a little bit more about what we're doing. So our students had a chance to try out Claymation for the first time, trying out all the different ways that they can express their artistic feelings through the use of play and movement. And up here on stage with me are, while not made by our art club students, we have some lion heads that will be showcasing this spring during the performance of the Lion King. So the enrichment students here at the middle school are actually putting together a lot of the props and animals you will be seeing this spring. We also have a charity auction going on this Thursday. Uh, again, more artwork provided by some of it, our art club students, some ceramic bowls and plates, as well as paintings. All proceeds will go to uh, well, well, worthy charities. And finally, this spring, we will be doing the, for anyone who came to our showcases last year, our project that will benefit uh, refugee children in Syria. So we have a lot of cool stuff going on. Guys, if you wanna just wave around some of the sample artwork we have here. And again, these amazing artists also made a bunch of the artwork that you see out in the hallway. If you guys would like to check it out uh, after the show, feel free. And, uh, oh, you wanna hit the next one? We got one more little sample for you guys. Oh, you gotta, you gotta click. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Oh. There you go, you got it. One more little sample if you wanna hit play for us, madam. pictures of, and you can just go through these, madam. Again, other than the lions, we've also put together some ibises and some gazelles for the show, so there's going to be a full ensemble of different animals. So that's just a little bit of what we've worked on this fall and a little bit of what you can expect to see, so we hope you enjoy the show. And again, feel free to come check out our artwork up on the first floor.
some breakfast, brush my teeth, then on to the next shit. Check my home, no, I don't check this. Don't wanna see give me the check mix. It's about whatever, it's about your life. Want some to drink, can you give me some Sprite? It's about whatever, it's about your life. Want some drink, can you give me some Sprite? I'm a thief. A thief in the night. I'ma hit the dash when I see the blue lights. Got God on us, I don't always do right. Got God on us, I don't always do right.
where you smell the rice, beans, and chicken all through your neighborhood, and where hunger's not a word in grandma's house, where kids stay out late to talk with friends, and grandma always waves goodbye until you're out of sight, and the way your mom cuts fruits for you will always make you unintelligent kids, and not safe. Yes, Lawrence is a community that has some of those elements, but it doesn't define us. We are from, from a community that also has passion, power, geniuses. We are Latinos, Asians, Europeans, Africans, all the type of mixtures that you can ever think of. When I think of living this city, I feel this now feeling that I can't express because this is me. I grew up here. We grew up here. And even though we live in a community that has a negative side, so does every city, state, country, continent, the world. We are not perfect, and that's okay. Lawrence, us. We are beautiful and full of so much color that it counts. Yes, we have goals to graduate middle school, high school, and college to say, I got out of that city. Good for you. You face the challenge. But it doesn't mean to forget where you grew up or where you're from. Because even though you don't know it, it's home. Yes, Lawrence made us realize how tough life can be, but it's up to us to grow up with all the struggles, strengths, love, and passion we have. There's actually nothing else for me to say because, it, because now it's up to you guys. Because I'm just speaking for our community, our city, our people, us. Lawrence!
Peter is one of our eighth grade students. Um, he took the musical theater course. Come here. <laughs> Peter is not normally this shy. Normally, he's putting his body through a chair and then can't get it out. And so he's very entertaining. There's video proof. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Um, so, so Peter, Peter wanted to share some of his thoughts with you about just kind of what theater means to him and how the arts programs have helped him grow as a human being. Do you want me to stay with you? Okay. Cool. See, I told you, he's not shy. Do you want me, do you want me to interview? Okay, this is going to be an interview. We did not plan this, so I'm putting Peter on the spot. Um, Peter, how long have you been in the music or theater programs at GMF? Since last year. Okay, and what's, what was your favorite thing about being in the performance tonight? Um, it's fun. That's it. It's fun and that's it? Cool. Um, what else do you do other than theater at tonight's performance? Mm -hmm. What instrument do you play? Yeah, what's it called? Tamarine. <laughs> okay. Um, and if you hadn't taken theater this year, would you have been sad? Yeah. Why? Because um, theater helps me express myself and it's just so proud of each other too. So you feel like you found a safe space in the theater world? Cool. Do you also feel like you're a really talented musician? Yeah. Yeah, so Peter's pretty confident, obviously. Um, cool. How are we doing back there? How are we doing? Magic happens. Cool. Can you guys give Peter a round of applause? Because he was doing that. So, this is our choir. They're amazing. After the members, you guys can come on stage. So, some things that you should know about this piece is that it's all in African. All African. So, it's a language that I don't think anyone in this room knows. All right, it's a language from Africa. Um, so, we have to spend a lot of time learning uh, pronunciations, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like Mrs. Anderson said, we rehearsed this piece six times. Six times for an hour and a half. And it's about a five minute long piece. And we learned a completely new language, and we have four voice parts, and we have drummers. So I don't think I could have done this when I was in middle school. I was not that talented. But these kids are insanely talented. I think you're really gonna enjoy this performance. It's super joyful, it's really fun. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 